up, gentlemen? So the truth is, I am not ashamed to admit that I want to be viewed as attractive. If I'm being really honest, I actually don't mind when a dog humps my leg. Get it, buddy, get it! Don't look at me like that, it's flattering. Whatever, gentlemen, the fact is, when it comes to attraction, certain things you can't change, like your height. Some things you can change, like your body. But that takes a while. But the 10 things I'm going over today are quick and easy and scientifically proven to make you more attractive to those spicy senoritas. Number one, one is shave your head. You you with me? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, right. I'm not shaving this head with these ears. Are you kidding me? But the truth is, if you are somebody that wants to automatically and instantly be viewed as more attractive, shave your head. There has been a ton of research that actually showed women two different pictures. One picture, the dude had hair. The other picture, they computer generated him to be bald. And what they found is that consistently, the women viewed the bald men as more attractive, more trustworthy, more masculine, and sexy. Here. The takeaway, if you are somebody that has been thinking about, considering, possibly anticipating losing your hair, you just want to say, F it, I'm tired of dealing with hair, I don't want flowing locks of lusciousness, gentlemen, grab your grooming tool and buzz it off because you are instantly going to be sexier. And when you're done, don't take a selfie because that's actually the second thing that makes you more attractive, not taking selfies. Research has shown that dudes that post a lot of pictures are viewed as more vain, more conceited, and more narcissistic, none of which is attractive. <laughs> but, but, but Alf, if I'm, if I'm not posting pics of my abs, what should I post? Pics of the dog hump in your leg, which is actually the third thing that's gonna make you instantly sexier. Fact, dudes with dogs are viewed as more attractive. They're more nurturing looking. They're also more kind, more patient, which is all very attractive. Take the dog to the park, let it walk around spicy senoritas. The women, like a magnet, like a moth to a freaking sexy flame, are gonna be like, oh my God, he's so cute, can I pet him? I get it, buddy, get it! Bonus points and extra credit if that dog that you actually have is jacked up and like missing an eye or snaggle tooth or three le three three legs? Are you kidding me? Um, hi, yeah, do you have any of those homely looking three-legged dogs available for adoption? The uglier, homelier that dog is, the sexier you become. It's just a scientific fact. The fourth quick and easy way to be viewed as more attractive is not to wear red. Actually, it is to wear red, but I don't want to use that because I've talked about it too many times, all right? The truth is, if you watch any of my other videos, you know that wearing the color red is a psychological symbol of power, dominance, and attraction. Did it work? Am I sexier? Hell yeah, hell yeah, I'm sexier. Here's how you're gonna be sexier. The real number four, gentlemen, is all about the exposure of skin, all right? So, we've talked about it before. One of the quickest and easiest ways for you to be sexier is expose those forearms. Research has shown that one of the sexiest body parts on a dude isn't his pecs, it's not his abs, it's not his big junk, gentlemen, it's his forearm. And so, if you're wearing a long sleeve Henley, whoop, right there, yeah, did you see that? Or, if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt, Bang! Sexiness level 11. It's all about seeing a little skin. Speaking of seeing, the fifth thing that's gonna make you automatically sexier is rocking a pair of frames. Glasses just make you look sexy, make you look attractive, make you look more interesting. Gentlemen, the fact is, if you are looking to rock a badass pair of frames, there's nobody that I wear other than GlassesUSA.com. They are today's video sponsor. I'm gonna link to them down below. This is a new pair that I recently got, guys. I absolutely love them. If you dig any of the pairs I'm about to show you, I will link to everything down below. How about these, right? The black with the gold, they're just sick, right? The black gold combo, I absolutely love. Gentlemen, speaking of love, I love GlassesUSA.com. The reason is because they've cut out the middleman. What this means and why you should care is that they're able to offer you prescription glasses for up to 70% off of retail price. GlassesUSA.com has a crazy selection, over 6,000 different frames as well as like even sunglasses. Now, of course, they've got your standard brands like Oakley, Armani, Gucci. But me personally, I love their house brands the most, right? This brand is called Atoto, totally sick and sexy. Sexy, all right, they're also going to be a little bit more affordable and priced amazing, right? What about these? These are another brand that I absolutely love called Muse. Guys, Muse, they've got a ton of different styles that I know you guys are going to love. Here's another pair of Muse frames that I recently got. I just thought they were cool, right? They were green, so I decided to get them, right? And that's the cool thing. Because of the prices at GlassesUSA.com, you can afford to get a few different pairs, all right? A starting pair of glasses, including a basic prescription and frames, starts at $30. And a free basic prescription is included in every pair of frames. And guys, Glasses 
MoneyUSA.com, it's almost like risk-free shopping because they offer a 100% money-back guarantee within the first 14 days. So if you get your glasses, you try them, you're like, yeah, I'm not really feeling it, you can actually get your money back. Free shipping, free returns, not to mention a 365-day product warranty. One thing that I want you to try, I'm going to link it down below, it's the virtual mirror. It is the coolest thing. You upload a picture of yourself and then you literally get to try on all the different frames. Virtual mirror is just so much fun to try on all the different frames. Some of the frames you're going to love, some of the frames you're not going to love, but that's the cool thing. Guys, there's going to be a link down below this video. That link is special. It's going to give you an even better deal off of already amazing prices. I'm telling you, if you are shopping for glasses anywhere other than GlassesUSA.com, how do I say it? Screwed. You're getting screwed because GlassesUSA.com is incredible in terms of quality, in terms of selection, in terms of price. It's the only glasses that I wear, guys. I'm telling you, you're going to love them as much as I do. Hit the link down below. Go check out GlassesUSA.com. Also, if you dig any of the frames that I showed in the video, they're also going to be linked down below. Guys, I'm telling you, if you want to automatically look sexier and more attractive, rock a badass pair of frames. Glasses also will help you with the sixth thing that has been scientifically proven to make you more attractive, and that is looking older or more mature. So I did a video talking about why these spicy sandwiches are freaking out over these old dudes with dad bods. Look older and more mature. A few ways you can do that, gentlemen, is your dress. Like, are you dressing like a little boy? If so, step it up a little bit. Look a little bit more mature, a little bit elevated and elegant. Gray hair? Yes, please. Silver fox action, which actually brings us so you know it was coming. The seventh thing that automatically makes you sexy these spicy senoritas, and that is facial hair. Gentlemen, I'm gonna go over this survey again, right? What they did, research, scientists, they're like, yo, do beards actually make women like absolutely like wanna hump legs? Ah, apparently, it works, and here's the reason why. So here's the deal. They showed all these spicy senoritas, dudes, right? Different stages of facial hair growth, from completely clean shaven, boyish even, to a little bit of scruff, 10 day stubble, and then big bushy beard. And what they found, 10 day stubble was viewed as the most attractive facial hair a dude can rock. Coincidentally, you think it's an accident that I rock 10 day stubble all the time? The answer is no. You think this was an accident? I literally need all the help I can get, which is why I also do number eight, which is smell amazing. Now you're like, yo, alpha, fragrance, right? Fragrance is one part of it, all right? The other part of it is actually deodorant. In 2009, there was a study done by like the International Cosmetic Solutions Skin Care Sexiness, whatever, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. Anyway, there was a study in 2009 that took a bunch of dudes. Half of the dudes got deodorant that had like no fragrance, no scent. It was kind of like a placebo. The other group got a fragrance in their deodorant. They wore it, and what they found is that the dudes that actually wore deodorant were viewed as more attractive. Now you're like, how could they be viewed as more attractive? The reason is because when you wear something, that smells good, it boosts your self-esteem and confidence. Put it on and you feel good, right? You're like, yeah, hell yeah, I smell amazing, right? You walk around like a stud all day long. But the dudes that had the placebo, they're like, ooh, I'm, I'm kind of stinky. And what do they do? Exactly, confidence down because they know they're stinky. Takeaway is what I've been telling you. Gentlemen, you gotta smell amazing. If you smell amazing, not only do you smell amazing, which is something that is definitely attractive and sexy because dudes that smell sexy and amazing are viewed as more sexy and amazing, but it's going to boost your self-esteem and confidence because you know you smell sexy and amazing. Boom, right? No, not boom. You should know this by now if you're a subscriber and you've been watching my videos and dropping these on the regular, right? If you're dropping these on the regular, it also means that you are definitely number nine, which is kind. Kind. People that are kind and helpful are viewed as more attractive. If you want to try it and practice, now would be the time that one more, <laughs> did it work? And last, but certainly not least, gentlemen, the 10th quick and easy way to be viewed as more attractive to those spicy ass senoritas is stop kissing her ass. But Alpha, <laughs> have you seen her? Yeah, I don't, I don't need to, because I'm like, whatever, gentlemen. And the whole act of like, whatever, and not kissing her butt is actually psychologically going to warp her little mind. Because if she's sassy, she is used to being like pawed on and fawned over by dudes that are simping like you. Hopefully not you, but other dudes that that are like you, except worse because they're simping. Gentlemen, the truth is if you're like whatever and not like all like upper butt, she's gonna be like, wait, why aren't you up my butt? It is amazing. Have you not seen it? And she's gonna be like, come on, come and get it. And then she's gonna be humping your leg. <laughs> you like that? That's a, gentlemen, it works.